what better use of flowers, right? Hey everybody, Lux Into Swirl here. New day, new cut project. This is what we're gonna be trying today. I got a whole bunch of these beautiful color fix paint slash glues from Artistry Epoxy. Let me show you everything I got. Obviously those two colors, orange and yellow, but also green, purple, red, blue, and a pinky magenta sort of color. I figured I'd start with two, no point going whole hog on the first try. I have used their not colored glitter glue on the uh, gift bag wrap tumbler that I did recently. I'll link to that below if you haven't seen it. This works great. But I got all excited when I found out that they took that glitter glue and they mixed pigments in with it so that it's now also a paint. So we're gonna give these two colors a try. We have navel, which I suspect has to do with navel orange as opposed to navel navy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have banana cream for their yellow. These do dry pretty quickly, and once they start to dry, their adhesive properties don't work as well. So you need to work fast if you're going to use it not only for the paint, but also for adhesive to hold on glitter. I have a gritty, a beautiful orange called Gritty from the Glitter Guy. That is a 0 .008 cut. And I have Duckling, which is a pretty pale yellow from Peachy Olive Glitters. I do not know the, the cut of this one. There you go. That's what we're gonna be using. I will apply my paint glitter glues with a soft, fluffy makeup brush. These do need to be shaken well before you start. And like I said, need to work quickly. So here we go. I think it works better with a slightly bigger cut, which is what this is. This is a very fine cut and there is streaking. There's not supposed to be obvious streaking with this if you're using a fluffy brush. So that area is not quite as impressive as a slightly bigger cut that covers more up. And we're back. Okay, here's how the cup turned out. I will hold it here and do a close up. Um, I am very happy with how this part of the cup turned out. I think that looks fantastic. I am not very happy with how this turned out, and I am going to chalk it up not to these new paint glue, glitter glue, color flex things. I'm going to chalk it up to user error. I did a sloppy job of applying the paint because I was rushing so that it wouldn't start to dry before I could get the glitter on. So you can see the streaks and I picked the wrong glitter. I picked a super, super fine glitter. There's nothing wrong with this glitter, but because it's so ultra fine, it shows up every flaw that I made when I applied the paint glue. I think if I had picked a different glitter, this is a coarser one and I think that helped a lot. So if I picked either something like this. If I had a slightly orangier version of Peachy Olive Glitter's Fuzzy Navel, the coverage would have been so much better. So possibly something like this would have been really nice. This is Texas Sunrise Chunky from Franz Glitter and More. That would have been kind of beautiful and it would have hidden my bad paint job. So I am not complaining about these at all. I think these work great. The coverage is fantastic. Uh, my lack of spending enough time with the orange application and then using the wrong glitter on it to point out the flaws instead of cover them up. That's my bad. So I'm going to work with this because this is what we have and we're going to move forward. Alrighty, we are back again. I have been doing some print thin cut in my Cricut Design Space program and using my Nito brand printable vinyl. I have made a rickrack ribbon that I'm going to put around our middle bit and I have a couple Easter gnomes that I'm going to put there and then we are going to cover a lot of this up with these flowers and I also have this from Mr. Nola's Glitter. This is one of the peekaboo sticky sheets that they sell there. A lot of these will go perfectly 
down here. So we may just we may just cover a lot of my sins up with with flowers. What better use of flowers, right? First thing I want to do is put on the rickrack. So I printed two in case I screw up because that's always a possibility with me. Happy with it. Put our gnomies here on the opposite side. Originally, I thought that at this point I would stop and I would put a layer of resin over the whole thing, and while the resin was freshly applied, I would sprinkle on some of this. And I may still do that, but I think I'm gonna go ahead with the flower idea down here first. Okay, none of this needs to be sealed. So I am going to let this sit for a while, let the adhesive, you know, really grab on from all the different vinyls. And then I'm gonna go straight to epoxy resin. And when I do that, I will probably drop judiciously with my fingers, some of this glitter around the bottom. I will take you to that part and yeah, we'll see how it turns out. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. 